Welcome to That's a Wrap, the channel where I review TV shows, movies, and movie trailers. Today, I will be doing a recap over the Netflix original series, Altered Carbon Season 1. But before I do, if you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. I will greatly appreciate it. If you're not caught up, consider this your spoiler warning if you haven't seen this show or aren't caught up with the episodes. But let's get into the recap of this season one. All in all, I give it a six out of 10. The story was too predictable. The acting was very, very weak in a lot of aspects. It got better towards the end, but the beginning, um, maybe it's, well, in some instances, it is the actors or actresses. If you are familiar with some of their work, uh, you, you'll know who I'm talking about. I don't like calling people out like that or, or, or shaming them because they're obviously doing something right in getting these roles, but it, their acting isn't just, it's not my cup of tea. I thought the first three episodes were very confusing. And I think that was by design because as, as you move forward in episode four or five and six, you start, they start going backwards and filling in some of that confusion. Now, I believe this show was very niche. You either had to know the source material, you, or had to have been a huge sci-fi nut and, and you would have enjoyed this season one, which a lot of people did. And I also did within watching this, uh, I have a playlist where I review each and every episode. And I say to that point, when I reached episode three, I was honestly thinking about just stop, just stop watching this show completely and not even continue with it. Uh, just because I felt so lost. I, I, I felt like, where, where is this going? Am I not seeing something correctly? Do I need to read the source material to be able to get it? But when you fall into episode four, which I, I was glad I stuck it out. I even said in my review three, in my uh, episode three video, that I'm going to give it another shot. And I was glad I did because when I went into episode four, they started filling some of the gaps and I was like, oh, OK, that's why this is important. And that's why that mattered. And uh, so I, I thought that they just went too far out there in the beginning and the nudity and graphic nudity and the excessive use of nudity in the first three episodes were just overdone. And I was glad to see that they toned it down after after those first three episodes maybe they did it to be able to grab people and oh look boobs and look hey you know nudity and grab people that way but in the day and age that we live now i just think if you do it poorly like they did you're gonna lose people i, I mean i again there's beautiful people uh, in this show and seeing them naked is is uh like i said it's good eye candy uh with ortega had a few scenes where she was naked and and Bancroft's wife, basically, we see her in a see-through dress the whole time, and she's showing nipples the whole the whole time. You know, uh, the men. I mean, uh, Kovacs opening scene. He's basically all buffed up and and showing basically all his junk and and from the front and the back. You see Bancroft's in full, you know, nudity, which that I could have done without that. But I just thought that it was just too much. I'm a fan of Game of Thrones, and that show also used a lot of nudity, but. For the most part, they used it to enhance the storyline. And yes, sometimes they just used it just to put because they knew people like that. I just think that Altered Carbon used it too much in the beginning. And maybe like I said, by design, because they did, you could see it toned down. It wasn't an emphasis after that. And maybe it was just to show the kind of degenerate social aspect of that, that we just become so carnal and we crave for that so you know it is what it is i thought the storytelling was kind of basic and easy to follow i found myself finishing characters lines as i was watching so the writing could have been better but visually the graphics were amazing i think they spent a lot of money in the digital effects in for this show they could have spent some of that money in maybe getting better actors 
or better writers. So I can't, I, I mean, in some instances, like I said earlier, I can blame the actors just because that's an actresses. That's just the form, the way they act. Uh, but I think uh, uh, some of the blame could also fall to the writing for this show. Because I will say some of the actors and actresses in that episode nine and 10, they did bring it and they brought a different level of acting. So maybe, I don't know. I don't know why that happens because I'm used to a lot of their work and I'm like, oh yeah, that's the way they act, you know? They don't they're really unemotional kind of level. <clears throat> but in that episode eight and nine, they just brought it to a different level, which kind of pissed me off because I'm like, why can't you do this in some of your other movies and other projects? You could have, you know, you could have made, made that much, that much more better. But hey, it's just my opinion. So six out of 10, I would recommend this show to someone if I knew they were a sci-fi fan, a fantasy fan. I wouldn't recommend this for just, you know, your happy-go-lucky movie goer. They're, they're just gonna get confused. They'll get turned off. They won't. They won't continue with the with the show or this series past episode two and three. They'll just give up on it, and a lot of people do. Now I know this. There's a huge fan base for this show and talking negatively about this show. Talking negatively about any show. People are super super into their feels and their loyalty, which I, I it's commendable. But if you're looking at this work objectively. With a fresh shot, like I said, I, I don't have any knowledge of the source material. I, it, it, this was literally my first dive into Altered Carbon of anything. Not the anime series, not the book. I found all this stuff out after I started reviewing and people put me up on some of the stuff that's out there. So there's definitely a huge following. And if you want a community to talk about, like, you know, not as big as the MCU or DC, DCU, but... If you want a community that's active still three years after the fact, you'll definitely enjoy this community. They're still active. They still talk. They still theorize about some of the stuff that they saw in the show. So you'll you'll definitely get an, an entertainment value off of joining the community. But all in all, like I said, enjoyable. Six out of ten. We would recommend. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And like always, that's a wrap.